Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Australian Computer Museum in Croydon, Sydney. Today we're going to look at some PlayStation 1 games that aren't really games. First up we have Fluid. Fluid is described as the interactive sound lab, which is about as good a name as any. <clears throat> It's called fluid. Well, you're a dolphin and you swim around in this fluid, I guess. So here we are, we're a dolphin. You can turn around. Got some odd little shapes here. Got a couple of blacked out. They're not unlocked yet. So let's go into the last one that was unlocked. Here we go. Temple. Now, what is it? You are swimming through, I guess, a temple, and you can't actually collide with this stuff. I think it's just a streaming video. I'm not sure. It's very low frame rate, though. Face buttons. Okay, we've got space off to the side there. So if I hold down R1, we'll go to space, which has not been unlocked yet. All right, got a new tune, got a new background. Dodging asteroids, low. As I said, you don't actually have to dodge them. It's just a video. And yeah, pressing face buttons makes some little sound effects play. I think this uh, with the yeah, L2 and R2 changes the volume of those sound effects. And that's pretty much all you do in this bit. So let's press start. That'll take us back to the sea. And now it says we've got new patterns from space. What does that mean? So if we swim along, it's around here somewhere, we'll find this little structure here. <clears throat> and this is the main part of fluid. Here we go, it's sort of a sequencer. So right now we've got no tracks running. Okay. Let's add in a bit of drums. Okay, what if we want to change it? So you can see from space we have 14 of these melody tracks. I'm going to 
sequencing circle reverses which tracks are activated. just swim around until something pops up and then you swing into it. Very funky tunes going on here though. What else can we do?
Alright, let's start to mix it up. That's really it for fluid. Um, yeah, as a game, not really much there, but I guess as an app, you have to remember that this would have been in the mid 90s, and doing this sort of stuff on a Windows PC probably wouldn't have been that easy. Uh, this was even before we had MP3s, that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I think that this actually could have been like a, a really fun thing to play around with back then. And, uh, I don't know, like, I mean, I wonder, is the music that comes out of this copyrighted, copyrightable? I guess we'll find out if I get a, a copyright ding on YouTube. But yeah, you know, maybe you can be your own DJ here. Okay, next up, Baby Universe, the 3D Kaleidoscope. So if you didn't think that Fluid was a proper game, this is even less of a game. It's really an app from the day before we talked about apps. And what does it do? Well, it starts off with this beautiful digital poo. Okay, cool intro, right? Well, no, this is it. Oh, look, we can spin this thing around. Make it rotate in different directions. Press square, change the parameters there. So by pressing X and O, I can change tracks. You can see that the tracks are listed as CD, XA. These are actually CD. These are actually CD audio tracks playing from the game disc itself. And the nice thing is, because the program is small enough to fit in the PlayStation's memory, you can take the disc out and put in a regular old audio CD. Unfortunately, there's no track names on this, but if you had burned CDs back in the day, you'd often have your track names there. Okay, so hopefully I haven't been copyright pinned for that. If I have, then you would have seen a much shorter version. So we'll put this back in. I think this is less likely to trigger anything. We can look at some of the other functions. That's my song. So what else do we have? We've got this sort of kaleidoscope thing.
see, pressing various buttons, possibly having an effect on it. Well, I think where this probably would have been good is um, I'd imagine if you're having a party, you know, it's like it's 1997, you've got all your stack of CDs there, your friends have brought their CDs in, you know, the Spawn soundtrack's just come out, whatever, <laughs> and, uh, you know, you, you want to play some music, instead of just putting it in a CD player, you put it in the PlayStation, and then you've got your parents' big TV here, and then you can have, you know, these really colourful visuals going at the same time as you're playing your music and everyone's dancing around and it's like this is you know, years before people had wind ample things. So yeah, I think that this would actually have been kind of a cool thing to have back then. So yeah, I think it's nice that uh, Sony was starting to look at some of these things because you've got to remember Sony was also a music company. They sold records as well as selling music players, the Walkman and everything else. So. Yeah, this was the thing of trying to get the PlayStation as part of your, your entertainment hub. Which then, you know, the PS2 had the DVD player, PS3 had the Blu-ray player, and then PS4 and 5 have a lot of streaming apps and things on them. So, yeah, I think that it was maybe not like a great idea as uh, a game company, but as an electronics company, I think it was really nice that they had some of these sort of odd things out there. So yeah, if um, you are interested in any of this stuff, as with everything that I put in the videos here, it's, it's here in the museum, it's playable. Just come in, tell them Adrian sent you, and uh, look up our website for the days that we're open. And yeah, so you know, I really want to have a look at like, um, you know, PlayStation 1, I want to see the Red Poo, and um, play a bit of music, bring your CDs in if you're still got any. Okay, well thank you for watching. <laughs>